everybody. It's Dr. Aaron here, uh, welcoming myself back to our Abbey Research Reads channel. I haven't been here in a while. For those of you that are our loyal subscribers and watchers, you know Dr. Kristen does the bulk of the heavy lifting when it comes to reading books and book reviews. But I have a few that I have read uh, over this summer, and I wanted to make sure that I shared them with you so that you can go out and enjoy them as much as I did. So for today's book review, I am talking a little bit about Jan Carson's The Raptures. Uh, Jan is a writer from Northern Ireland, and when I was back visiting Northern Ireland this summer, I wanted to pick up her book at our favorite local bookshop, No Alibis, on Botanic Avenue. And uh, I, I knew that I, I had to get this book read and read quickly. And I'm here to recommend it to you as a, a fantastic uh, case study of empathy or example of empathetic writing. I can't give too much about, of the book uh, away because if I started telling you about the plot, I, I would give it away. Um, but it is set in the small town um, of Ballylack, which is a fictional town, I believe, in Northern Ireland, uh, during the summer. Um, and something uh, mysterious and quite violent starts to happen in the town. And it is the story mostly told from the perspective of a young girl named Hannah. Um, but for all the different kind of, uh, throughout all the different kinds of perspectives um, and voices of people in the village. And what I mean when I say it's an example of empathy is Jan Carson is does such a good job of not judging her characters, presenting them as who they are with their opinions and perspectives and worldviews. And she leaves it up to the reader. We're all going to have our own thoughts and feelings about what somebody says or does, how they behave in this book. Um, but she touches on a whole range of themes from uh, how we relate to our children, what kind of expectations young people have um, of socialization and peer pressure and bullying um, to faith and interactions with small town life rural and agricultural life, immigrant experiences. It runs a full spectrum of experiences um, and humans in this book, in the telling of the story that is really, um, as Lucy Caldwell says on the cover, written from the guts and from the heart. Um, and I couldn't agree with that more. It is delightfully and specifically Northern Irish as well. It is set um, in the uh, early to mid 1990s, where the ethno national conflict that um, started roughly uh, in the late 1960s um, was coming to some form of a close, um, or there were rumors of it and discussions about what the con ending the conflict or ending the troubles would look like. And that is woven throughout the book as well in a way that is very specific to Northern Ireland. Um, you're, I wouldn't recommend this book to learn about the troubles, but it shows you the way in which something that was as abnormal as uh, ethno-national, intercommunal, violent conflict, it shows you how normal that becomes when something like that is prolonged. And I think all of us out there who have lived through the last three years, wherever we are in the world, have been accustomed to or gotten accustomed to things that once seemed very abnormal and now are very normal and a part of our everyday lived experiences. Um, a lot of things uh, specifically uh, from the COVID-19 pandemic, things that five years ago we, we never would have thought would have been normal or commonplace or we would have startled us out of, our, out of ourselves, um, we now see uh, as quite normal or something that is not startling. And so, uh, you know, any fiction in Northern Ireland is really great for kind of tapping into that uh, sense of, of normal abnormality um, in a way that is, is delightfully funny and heartwarming. So I could gush about the raptures for another five minutes, but I'll keep it to five and stop there. But be sure and check it out. Um, it's a fascinating read. It's a really great story. I, I could not put it down. 
But as I said, uh, it's showing up on Abbey Research Reads mostly for its fantastic, fantastic job of exemplifying empathy in the characters, um, which is what empathy is. It is uh, seeking to understand someone else's perspective and how it's different from yours. It doesn't mean you agree with it. It doesn't mean you sanction it or support it, but it means you take that time to seek the understanding. So take the time to seek the understanding of the raptures. You can find it at your local bookshops and we'll have a link in the show notes. And hopefully it won't be another, I don't even know, six to 12 months before you see my face again on this channel. But until then, take care, everybody.